Have you ever wanted to know what stocks super investors like Warren Buffett, Michael Burry or Charlie Munger are currently buying on the stock market? Well today I'm going to share with you a free online tool that allows you to do just that. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another stock market investing video and today we're talking about a cool free program known as Dataroma and effectively what it is is a free online stock market analysis tool that allows you to view the stock market portfolios of super investors. So like I said in the intro, the likes of Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Michael Burry and many, many more super investors who are incredibly successful in the stock market. But before we dive into the tool, guys, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more stock market investing and wealth management content. I'd love to know your thoughts as well on the tool that we're about to see today and if you've actually used it to your benefit previously. So guys, with that, let's kick on straight into the video to dataroma.com and this is an absolutely incredible tool that I've recently stumbled upon that allows you to view the portfolios of super investors, see the top most owned stock by them, the most bought currently in their period and the changes to their portfolios every single quarter. So just looking at the front page briefly, you can effectively see all these very, very well-known names in the investing world. You know, as I mentioned, the likes of Michael Burry are in here and you've got, you know, your Warren Buffett's just up here and you can see that this portfolio was only updated on the 16th of Feb, so very, very recently. And basically what we're able to see is not only their individual portfolios, but as well, what overall are these super investors, you know, buying? What are they selling? What are their biggest bets, all these sorts of cool things. What is the top 10 most owned stocks that these investors have? So I just want to dive straight into one of these and I think one of the best people is Warren Buffett. So let's quickly open him up right here and have a quick look at what's going on. Now this is a really cool tool. So it shows you that this is the Q4 period of 2020 and the portfolio date, so the latest date this was updated was on the 31st of December 2020. And what we've got at the top is a few different tabs. We've got the holdings tab, so we can effectively see all the stocks that have been reported that Warren Buffett is holding right now. We can see what the price was, so the I suppose the purchase price at the time and the value of the stocks. So how many shares that Warren Buffett holds of Apple, for instance, uh, the value or the average value of those shares and the actual total value of the portfolio shares that he holds. So we can see a total number right here and it's an absolutely insane amount of $269 billion roughly, which is just like unfathomable amount of money. But what we can see here is that there is lots of recent activity and you can see this is probably a portfolio which is quite large as you can imagine compared to a lot of people. But what you want to be looking at is actually the activities tab. So well, let's just get rid of that. But that's a free tool. That's the sort of things you're going to get obviously. So we can see in Q4 all these updates have occurred. And we can see that he's added Verizon for instance and changed by buying 88 uh, million shares roughly on average, which is a 1.92% uh, change to his portfolio. And if we want to dive deeper, we can see, okay, what else has he done with regards to Verizon specifically? So we can see the first time that Warren Buffett added Verizon to his portfolio was back in Q1 of 2014. And we can see he added to that the following quarter and then Keep going, keep going, reduced, and he sold all his Verizon shares basically, except for 928, then the remaining 100% went away. And we can see that was in, you know, 29 Q1, then Q3 is back in, and he's adding more back in Q4. So that's absolutely fantastic. But let's go back to the main page. Individuals aren't the only thing you can look at. What you can also look at is, for instance, the top 10 most owned stocks. So, for instance, all these people here we're seeing the top 10 most owned stocks that these individuals hold. So if we go here, we can see that 
Facebook is in 29 of these portfolios and we can see it makes up roughly 1.982 as a percentage of the portfolio and the average hold price is 272.47 and the maximum percentage of someone's portfolio one of these super investors is 21.84 which is absolutely incredible and what we can also see is for instance okay one of the quarter buyers okay so we can see as a percentage uh, that this golden nugget online gaming WTS or I don't know what that uh, stock actually is but it's some gaming related stock Someone bought and it's actually a massive portion of um, their portfolio right there. Um, oh, actually, I lie. That's a very small percentage, actually. <laughs> oh, just you have to move the decimal. But we can see, okay, what's going on? Six month buys. We can see that 21 people have invested in Wells Fargo on this super investor list. So some really cool stats there. Now let's go straight back to that. What is the top 10 stocks by percentage owned in people's portfolios? So we can see the largest owned stock in people's portfolios, these super investors, is Berkshire Hathaway, which is, you know, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger's uh, company right there. And we can see that someone's portfolio, I'm going to take a punt and say that probably the likes of Warren Buffett owns 43.71% in Berkshire Hathaway or Probably actually Charlie Munger. I mean, we can actually check this information now. So if we want to go, okay, let's see who this is. Uh, we can obviously go into these individually and we can see, oh, it's actually Bill Gates and his wife own the largest percentage portfolio wise of Berkshire Hathaway, which is insane. But we can actually see he's reduced 10.61% in recent history and we can see here we go nice little breakdown of the value of Berkshire Hathaway as well so let's jump back to the main page right here and we can see okay what are some big bets so owned by at least two super investors and by big bets it means that effectively it is a large portion of their portfolio so there is a large portion of two individuals at least portfolio invested in Micron technology, for instance, and 66.33%. So let's click on that one right there. And we can see that this individual here, I'm not gonna even try butcher their name, but they own 66.33% of their portfolios in uh, this stock and Li Lu, for instance, as well, 47.52. So there's two individuals there, so it makes up a very large portion of their portfolio and as a result it makes that sort of list for instance so absolutely interesting information and something that i really uh, like about this website is there's a tab up the top here called real time and effectively what this allows us to do is see what are the changes to people's portfolios in the real time we can see there is a lot of selling going on right now by these individuals here and there's a bit of buying, you know, but we can see exactly what is going on and we can see the period where it's being updated. And obviously, this needs to be filed before it's going to go onto the website because that's how they're pulling their data. It's being filed away. It's not necessarily real time in the sense of, oh, as soon as Warren Buffett sold a million shares in something that you would effectively see a change immediately appear here. But as you can see, a lot of other interesting tabs. If you want to see all the super investors and their top 10 holdings, you can do that. You scroll through, find all your uh, the people you want to see, all that sort of stuff. Real interesting info. They have commentaries and articles, so some news sources, which is really cool as well. Let's have a look at some activity. So we can see top 10 buys versus sells for the period of Q4 for all these individuals. So for instance, if we go back to Warren Buffett at the bottom here we can see he was selling Apple and buying Verizon which was obvious when we were looking at his stock itself we can see as well an S&P 500 grid here so we can apply all sorts of metrics so let's see what were the last quarter sells uh, actually Facebook oddly enough even though that is also one of the most bought or the largest portion of people's portfolio stocks as well we can go to grand portfolio and see effectively what each of these, I suppose, individual 
symbols have on them so we can see 18 individuals are in Berkshire Hathaway from this super investor list for instance. Real cool stuff and we've got this insider tab as well which gives us I suppose a bit more detail if you really really want to deep dive into exactly what's happening but I would highly recommend that you guys go and check out this piece of software. It's free online, literally just type in Dataroma, D-A-T-A-R-O-M-A.com and you'll be straight onto this website. And let's just have a quick look at this bit at the bottom before we move off. You can see the latest significant insider buyers of Super Investor Holdings. Super Investor stocks with the most inside buyers in the last three months. Lots of interesting information here. And if you want to effectively start investing like these incredible people on here, all you have to do is effectively go, okay, who do I want to invest like? So let's think, okay, uh, where is Michael Burry? Here he is right here. Okay, what is Michael Burry holding? Okay, we can see the activity, uh, just a brief update there. But if we really want to see what he's doing and you're going, okay, what does... Michael Borey want to invest in for the first quarter of this year. You go to his buyers and you can see this is what he's buying in the first quarter of this year. You can see he has bet big on this company here. Added 750%. He obviously had a, large, a small, small holding and he's chucked a lot more money in. But we can see he's actually pumping the most money into B now, which I believe is actually distribution now, and CXW. So, Look at that, wow. What's going on here? We can see this other individual as well. Robert Olstein is buying into D now as well. So some real good insights on this website. Highly recommend you check it out and I highly recommend you look at this, especially for when it comes to following those great investors. Don't necessarily trust what people actually say you should be buying or what an individual is buying. You've got all this data right here where you can effectively see that Warren Buffett is buying this stock. Warren Buffett is selling this stock. There's no news, there's no rumors. It's all legitimate facts. And yes, it might not be 100% up to date due to the fact that they need to file this information for it to appear on here, but it is as good as you're gonna get unless you're mates with the likes of Warren Buffett and he tells you, oh, this is what I'm buying, this is what I'm selling, you know? So please check it out, it's a fantastic, to get into. I hope you enjoyed that little insight into Dataroma and as I said it's something I've just found and I'm likely going to make a lot more videos on it and talk about those big names in the stock market and what they're investing in, what they're selling and you know some potential reasons why but I implore you please make sure you do check this website out especially if you're thinking oh I don't know what to invest in next have a look and get some ideas about what the big names you're investing are getting into and why that actually might be the case. So for instance, you might be looking at the financial sector, for instance, and see that there is a lot of buying going on by these big names in the financial sector. That's probably likely a good indicator that the sector overall is going to go up and then it comes down to you and a matter of picking the right stocks based on the research that you've done. So guys, I'm going to wrap up today's video there. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe to more content. And I'd love to know your thoughts and whether or not you've seen or used this software before, or if it's something you're going to refer to in the future. Let me know down in the comments section below. And with that, I'll wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.